Hey, thanks for joining me again. We're talking more about introducing Vertex for programming in an asynchronous, reactive manner. Last time we refactored our code quite a bit. We started using sequential composition to do all the operations we need to configure our application, get it started properly. But one thing you might have noticed if you're experienced in object-oriented programming is maybe we're violating some typical rules. So I want to call out this concept of SOLID in object-oriented programming, these SOLID principles. SOLID is an acronym that stands for these five principles. Single responsibility, open close, list cost substitution, interface segregation, dependency inversion. But today, let's specifically talk about single responsibility. Single responsibility means that a module or a class is only responsible for doing one thing. And right now, if you look at our main vertical, it's doing a bunch of things. It's loading config, it's doing database work, it's doing HTTP server work, deploying other verticals, so on and so forth. So that's not really following the single responsibility principle. Let's refactor our code again to move some of the unrelated items out. So what is the responsibility of our main vertical? That'll help us determine what belongs here and what belongs elsewhere. Well, main vertical is responsible for starting up our Vertex application. So what do we need to be able to start our Vertex application? Well, we're going to need our config, and we're going to need to deploy some other verticals. Everything else, database migrations, anything related to database, and anything related to web servers should probably be in other classes. Let's get started on that. We're going to create a new class that we'll call database vertical. And database vertical will extend abstract vertical. And it will have a start method and since we want to let main vertical know once this vertical is up and running successfully we're going to accept a promise i'm going to shorten up because i'm a little lazy i'm going to shorten that up i'm going to call that start now all we really need to do is remove this boom and take this method and move it to this class. So we need to import some dependencies. And we don't have our loaded config, but what we do have is our helper method in abstract vertical that gives us our config that was passed in. Oh, we apparently imported the wrong version of future. We grabbed the netty version. Easy enough to fix. We grabbed the vertex version of future instead. So now we have our database migrations. So we can say do database migrations. And instead of passing in this void that we don't really need anymore, we can just have it take no parameters. And the handler is going to be start handle. Boom, there we go. So now, instead of doing this coordination here, where we store the config, now we're going to use our deploy other verticals. So in our deploy other verticals method, we're going to deploy yet another vertical. We're going to say future of type string, db vertical, future, future, Promise 
vertex dot deploy vertical new database vertical promise and we'll add that to our concurrent composition we need to pass in the configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new uh, deployment config uh, deployment options instance and we're going to set the config to our loaded config. Now every time we deploy a vertical we can pass in these deployment options. So now we've moved all the database responsibilities out to a separate vertical. We're one step closer to following our solid principles. So now configuring the router and starting the HTTP server, that's all part of our web application stuff. So let's create yet another new vertical. So new class web vertical. And again, extends abstract vertical implements our start method. And we can go back over to our main vertical. We can delete those method calls. And we can grab the methods for configure router and start HTTP server and just delete those. Out of that class, paste them into this class. And we can say, configure router. This time again we don't need the void on the first method in the chain. Ah, yes, we need to import future. Make sure we grab the vertex version of the future. We need to import session store, local session store, logging handler session handler, cores handler, CSRF handler. Oh, did I grab the wrong? I did grab the wrong cores handler. Session handler. I grabbed the netty cores handler instead of the vertex one. Easy enough to fix. Import all of our uh, various necessary classes. Change this to the helper method for the config that's loaded in the vertical. Uh, oh, and we need to grab our handlers from over here, our hello handler and named hello handlers. We're going to need those over here. So we say configure router, start uh, compose this start HTTP server, set handler, start handle. Uh, and we need to make sure that our start HTTP server method is returning a void uh, response. So the way we can do that is we can, at the end of this, map it to empty. This is a nice little convenience function because of exactly this use case. etc. 
set. I'm going to change this to void. Now we got it. So now we've got all the web stuff moved to its own vertical. And we just need to tell Vertex to deploy that vertical. So we can just take this existing line here for the DB vertical. And we can call this web. Web vertical and web vertical. That's it. We've refactored, ah, but we need to change the return type of deploy vertical, or sorry, store config. The return type of store config is void, so we don't need that anymore. Unused There we go. And we can remove a bunch of unused imports now. That's it. Now our main vertical only has one responsibility. The class is much smaller. It's much easier to read and understand. Let's make sure it all starts up and works the way we expect it. Oh no, oh, we got an exception. And what is our exception telling us? Oh, I can't connect to the database. That's because I don't have the database running. Docker, compose, up, start up our database. Let's restart our Vertex application. And everything's working exactly as before, but now we've started to follow some of the solid principles, starting with single responsibility principle. I hope to see you next time on our next video, and uh, have a great weekend.